I'm Jack Smith, a monitor farmer here at Stokeland Estate, which is the Leicester monitor farm. Soil management at the moment for us is definitely about looking at the simple things. It's something that I'm very conscious of, that we spend a lot of money on technology, but then if we don't do the simple things right, that's catching us out. We are trying to achieve better soil health. We sample soil on a four yearly rotation uh, on a zonal basis, but what we've looked at today potentially questions that, how we should do it, whether we should target it more. We tissue sample every year and we tissue sample every crop um, and we'll, we, we're aiming to do it three times through the season to build up a picture because then hopefully we can build up a picture over the years and use that to plan our applications of other nutrients. But especially looking at today's meeting, it's planning the application of all the nutrients, not just N, P and K, it's micronutrients as well and how they're all interlinking together. Our soils have declined, so just sustainability at this current level isn't isn't enough. We've degraded them so far and actually we now need to pick them back up again, bringing livestock manures back into the rotation, cover crops, hopefully we can improve them. Um, a very interesting piece from, from Jackie from Jackie Stroud from Rotham said today about just one year of, of growing a cover crop so there was no bare soil has already improved the stability of that soil. So that's no, no, no iron or anything like that, no metal work, just by growing a cover crop has improved the stability of it. Uh, they're fairly simple mixes, they're oat, vetch and rye mixes. She looked at two fields here so far, one of which has been in a wheat rate rotation, uh, hasn't had any organic matter put into it, and the other one of which had been in a, previously in a wheat rate rotation, but we've actually now grown uh, two years of cover crops, um, and we're going back into another spring crop this year, and straight away we're seeing that the cover crop field has improved its stability, has gone from being an unstable field back to a stable field. As a farm we've got livestock back in, but they're dairy cows, cattle, it might make too much of a mess grazing off the, the cover crops with those, but looking at sheep is probably the next option. Yeah, it's perhaps not right for us at the moment, but going forward it might be. And then we've got to choose the right land type, the right, um, the right livestock type. There's no point trying to graze off a cover crop with cattle on a wet, heavy soil in January and make a hell of a mess. But perhaps if we can, we can do it tidily on some lighter land, it, it may well work for us. Uh, experiences of being a monitor farmer so far have been very encouraging. 